brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the mirrors on a 2011 Ford F-250. And this vehicle has the XLT trim. So if your vehicle has different trim, it may be a slightly different procedure, but you'll need new mirrors from 1AAuto.com, 7mm socket, 10mm deep socket, and a ratchet and extension. To start, uh, use a screwdriver and just pry this little panel off. And there's two 7mm bolts there. And there's another one, or another two, down at the bottom. Now two panels are clipped down. First the one where your uh, door lock switch is and your window switch. That just pulls straight up. You want to pull the front straight up and the back straight up. And then there are harnesses for each. Just little tabs that you press with your thumb or finger and pull the harnesses out. And then on top, you may need a plastic tool or a sc screwdriver to carefully, again, pry straight up on the mirror switch panel and I try and do as much as I can with just my fingers so I don't end up scratching the plastic on the door panel at all and pull straight up and straight up on the sides and then straight up on the end and then again there are two harnesses that plug in and you just use your fingers push the tab and disconnect and pull straight out on this panel. Now just pull, pull the door panel up and off. Pull back the top corner of your water shield and then there's the connector. Pull this orange safety connector out and then push the button, disconnect, and then push that back into the door. Pull up on the shield here and expose that hole down here, expose that hole, and then pull off these two rubber grommets. And inside you'll see the four 10 millimeter nuts that hold the mirror on. And fast forward here as I remove uh, basically three of the four nuts and most of the, fir the fourth one. And then as that last one comes out, just hold on to the mirror, the mirror will break free. And then kind of bring it out and then you have to lift the harness up and out. And you can see here our old mirrors on top and our new mirror from 1A Auto is on the bottom and they are uh, look exactly the same from this angle and from the back uh, they are the same there's kind of my face in the lower one and we just went with the smoked signal on our new ones um, we actually sell both the smoke signal and the regular orange signal and they are interchangeable you are going to want to remove your speaker four seven millimeter bolts or screws hold it in and we'll remove those, fast forward a little bit. And then once you get it loose, you just press the tab on the connector and pull it free. And installing the new mirrors. Eh, good, good thing to have a friend here. These are pretty heavy mirrors. Um, you want to put the harness through the hole and guide it down. and then get the beer lined up and in place. Have one of the 10 millimeter nuts and your socket ready. And hold the mirror in place and start one of the nuts on there.
and I'm just kind of looking, checking, making sure that the uh, pad or the, the mirror pad is all lined up and it is. You know, fast forward here as we start uh, the other three nuts on and then tighten them up and you want to get these really good and tight because um, those are heavy mirrors and you want to make sure they're held in place well. And reach through the speaker hole and find the end of the harness and put it through there and then make sure you pull that safety back. Hook the harness in and set the safety. Reinstall the two rubber grommets and then put that little shield back in place and then make sure your water shield's back in place. And make sure you reconnect the speaker and use the four seven millimeter bolts and put it back in place. Reinstall. I just lift the panel up in place. You'll want to put the door lock uh, knob through at the top first. Actually, what I'm doing is pulling the wiring harnesses for the door locks and the power windows through. Then put the hand or panel up in place. Make sure the door lock goes through, and then um, you can kind of look down and see the different clips that go into the door and you kind of rest it on the bottom two at first. Make sure again that your harnesses are through. And then put the door lock knob through. And then push the panel against the door and slide it down into place. And then just make sure it's uh, fully engaged and it's nice and tight against the door handle all the way through. Or all the way around. I apologize for the angle here, but I'm just putting the uh, two switch panels back in place, connect the harnesses, and then snap them back into place. So the mirror is done, and now I'm doing the window and door lock panel. You hit a little high speed here as I just put the bolts, the four bolts back in. And then uh, replace that little trim panel. It does only go in one way. I'm kind of trying to do it upside down right here. And then I figure out that it goes the other way and snaps right into place. And then the pillar panel snaps right into place. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.